Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I successfully ran this uh, demonstration at Hacker Noon on how to get Google Colab, or how to use Google Colab with VS Code. It does work. Uh, in my case, I went ahead and I downloaded an existing Colab file, and then I uh, ran all of the code that was required, which in fact was not very much. PS uh, pip install collab code, and then collab code, and then collab code port. You can see it's still running. It's on an ngrok instance, I believe. Yeah, it's on ngrok tunnel. And I fired it up by clicking this link. And I was able to load the file. In fact, I was able to drag and drop the Colab file, or rather the IPython notebook, directly into the uh, web browser. And uh, I've already run it. I'm going to stop running it. That shouldn't do anything, though, because it's a Colab notebook. I'm going to run it all, run all cells. And there's not much left to do because it's already, it's already installed. You can see it's chunking along very nicely. And at the end, I will have uh, a couple of documents. You can see it's already, yeah, there we go. And you can see that it's created a PDF. The PDF does not render very well um, here in the browser. I can down, no, do, do, yeah, download it there. And let's take a look and see if it works. It works here, just not, just fine. Uh, and here is the image that it was able to generate. And again, this is all on an ngrok instance. There is the original file. So rock and roll, it uh, does work. I'm not 100% sure the value of this. Because, well, maybe I can publish to GitHub and Oh, well, we just had an error. All right, so initialize repository. Uh, let's do a search, and we'll do a, a see how good the search function is here, because that was one of the things that kind of bugs me about uh, Colab search. Ironically, it's not, it's, not um, super easy to use. It is fast, so maybe I'm just mistaken in that regard. And so, oh, look at that. It actually finds all kinds of other things related to what I don't know. So there's a bunch of stuff in there that I'm not quite sure I understand. And we've got the repo, and we've got a bug, run and debug, and then extensions. And you want to look into the root folder. So it seems to work. So big thanks out to uh, David, David, or Davis, David, whatever, uh, for, the, for the code, because it does work. Thanks for watching and happy computing.